Hi everybody, you are back in my kitchen. This is Stephanie and I'm going to make some sliders today, some hamburger sliders. We got around here what we call White Castles. It's been here forever, as long as I've been alive and those hamburgers are delicious. And they're, um, with, they're, they're made, really, they're steamed. They're really thin and they're steamed. Um, but they're really, really good. And I think my sliders are just as good if not better than um, than them, than White Castles. So, if anybody knows what White Castle is around here, you need. To, I know. I know they know in Chicago what it is because I I've been there and I know they have it there, and um, we have it in New York. So, um, I heard they have something called Crystals in in the South, and we went there. Um, it's not White Castle. But anyhow, I'm, I'm sure I beg to differ with, with the Southern people. They might not feel the same way, but y'all need to taste some White Castle. Anyhow, I'm going to make my version of, of a slider. And um, I'm using Hawaiian rolls. And I took a, ser a serrated knife here and I cut right down the middle. And um, right now I'm going to just take it apart and turn it over over here. Because I don't need this part yet. Here's the bottom, taking the bottom off, put it right on where it came from, and take that bottom off, 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 off. Okay, cool. Now, I'm putting the bottom in this pan. And I am, this is some Velveeta cheese. This is like a sharp Velveeta cheese that I found in um, Walmart. I didn't happen to find it in my local store, too local. But I did find it in Walmart, so I had to go a little bit to, away to get it. But I like this cheese a lot. So I'm going to put this cheese on. You know, like right on the bottom. So these are like slided cheeseburgers. And actually I've made this, this is the third time I made this in a week. I actually made it uh, last Sunday. And um, I had a lot of company over. Unfortunately, my brother-in-law passed away and everybody was over here. So they came to my house and uh, I had a lot of company and I didn't have any sliders left. And they were really, really good. So, you know, hold one minute, let me get another piece of cheese. I like, I like all the, um, the cheese to cover the bottom. So there's a little spot left and I just want to Make sure I got enough. So I'm cut this like in half and it'll cover this right up. Now my oven is on 400. I'm gonna stick this in the oven right now. Let it get a little brown and I'll pull it out. While that's happening, stick it in the oven right here. While that's happening, um, I have a pound of 80-20, uh, um, chopped meat and I'm going to put it in this pan and the reason I use this pan it works out perfectly because once you once you mix it up in here and you spread it out and it shrinks up it fits it fits the sliders perfectly I mean great and then with me I can make a pretty decent hamburger generally speaking and I make my hand when I'm making hamburgers I season them and if I don't use it, I'll season this whole thing. And if I don't use it all, I take it and put it in the freezer. And after I get it in the freezer, when I'm ready, I pull them out. And they are really good because they've been sitting and they're delicious. But I season them. So right now I'm going to just squish this out a little bit. You know, squish it. And what I want to do is season it. And I always season my, my meat with my uh, ground beef with thyme. Always. That's the one, of the one thing I put in my ground beef. And this is not going to have a lot. And I season it with some onion powder. And I'm going to put some no salt uh, organic seasoning on here. Just a little. There we go. And just a little bit of black pepper. Just a touch. That's it. 
All right. Now, this is what does it. Some Worcestershire sauce. And this is low sodium Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to put some on here. This is what really makes your hamburgers. Worcestershire sauce. Plus, I'll add a little A1. Shake that up. A little steak sauce. Put some A1 in there. That's why it's better than White Castle. This, my seasoning, makes it better than White Castle to me. Now, I'm going to just mix it up. Get my hands all messy. I don't mind touching meat. Some people do. But I don't understand it. You have to eat it. You can, you can touch it. The hands are clean. You touch it. And that's that. Besides that, it's going in the oven. So, I'm actually going to put a little bit more Worcestershire sauce on here. Right on top. And I'm going to put a little more A1 right in here. You, know, you really want to season it up well. Some A1 in here. Then, I think I'll put a little bit more um, onion powder on here. Just a little bit. And I'm going to mix well. Mix again. So it's got some seasoning in here. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it out to the edge as much as I possibly can. Get it out there. That's what we're doing. So, okay. You see I'm squishing it down. And I'm getting it out there. And when it's cooked, and see it's thin, it's pretty thin. You could do this with two pounds of, um, of ground beef and, and your, bur your burger will be, you know, a little bit, a lot thicker. Almost like a meatball in there. But this will make it thin on a kind of like a White Castle kind of thing. Like a, a, a thin slider. And they're good. So, this is now going in the oven for about 10 minutes or less. You know, actually I start smelling and I know it's done. So, I'm going to put them in the oven and I'll be back. As a, I'm, when I come back, I'm, gonna, I'm already going to have um, these onions. They're going to be, I'm going to cook them on the stove with a little butter just so they get translucent. And when I come back, you'll see that that's done and I'm ready to put this back all together. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I've had my, um, my chopped meat in the oven for about 20 minutes and then the fat started rendering off and I tell you you see it that it's shrunk like it's supposed to and it'll fit perfectly on my little on my bun here this this stuff has been in maybe um about six or seven minutes until it got a little brown around the edges so now I'm gonna put this thing together also I have my onions here I put about a tablespoon of um, butter in the pan and I just sauteed the, the um, I chopped up one onion and I sauteed it in, in the butter and maybe, maybe about eight minutes while this was getting done. And that's this is what I come out with. So we got some grilled onions, we got the chopped meat, and we got the bottom half of these um, Hawaiian rolls. Okay, now, put my glasses on so I can see. So I'm going to use two spatulas to get this thing up and out of here. Okay, just so I can get it out. Oh, come on. You got to maneuver things. See? Whoops. Yeah, that's okay. Even if it does fall apart, it's okay because I know exactly where to put it. All right. So I'm going to put this in here. So this is the, the realities of cooking. It is all right. So I'm going to put this little piece back where it came from. It doesn't matter. There it goes. That's what cooking does, man. <laughs> 
And I have um, about a tablespoon of um, butter that's melted. So we're gonna need, we're gonna use that too. And I have some deli cheese, American cheese. So what I'm doing first is I'm gonna put these onions right on top. Grilled onions, they smell delicious. That to me makes it taste like White Castle. Now, we have some friends, Rob and Marion, and they are in Georgia. And when we went to Georgia to visit them last year, they were telling us about crystals. And we didn't, really didn't like that crystal thing. And Rob and Marion, they're from New York. And they miss White Castle. So Rob and Marion, take note, because you guys can't get that in no Georgia. So try this. So when you're here, when you're there, you can make this and you'll think you got some White Castles, okay? As a matter of fact, you think it's better than White Castles. But I'm just telling you, Rob, just telling you. So I have put my onions on. Now I'm going to put some American cheese on top of that. This is really cheesy. Put both cheeses on it. It makes it good. Okay, now I got the other part of my Hawaiian roll, and I'm going to put it right on top of this. And I'm going to take this melted butter, and I'm going to just just brush it on, you know, just to give it a little color once it goes in the oven. And then it's going to go back in the oven, same 400 degrees. It's going to be in there for maybe five or six minutes until it gets brown. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. But watch what I'm doing. This is only a, it's only a um, tablespoon of butter. So I, okay. So this is, this is um, ready to go in the oven. And I put the butter all over it. And I'm now going to put it in the oven. I'm going to put it in for uh, about five minutes. Put my timer on five minutes start we'll be back when it's when it's finished and uh, I'll show you how we hook it up make it taste like White Castle okay bye bye okay everybody I am back and there goes that oven. It just beeped. It's been in about five minutes. And I'm pulling out my sliders. Okay. All right. They're beautiful. They're just beautiful. White Castle just has some pickles in it, on it, like this. These, these little hamburger pickles. That's what they usually have on it. And some ketchup and the onions and of course cheeseburger or whatever you want on there bacon however way you want to do it now I just take a spatula and where it where it's already um, cut you just cut right there that's what you want to do so I'm going to cut right where everything's already cut see Rob so when I go down there to Georgia with you guys, we won't be missing our White Castle. Because I know you and Perry love that stuff. And so Rob, while you're watching the game, you make you some White Castle. So I know that game's coming on soon. Ain't going to be no stopping you and Perry. All right. That's the burger. Now... I am going to put some ketchup on it and I'm going to put a pickle on it. I'm going to put some ketchup on, squirt that ketchup like they do. That's a little one of these. I don't know what Crystal ever did, but back when I was a kid, I mean, we had a treat when we went to White Castle. Boy, my father took us there it was a treat. And they used to have roller skates and they used to roll out there and used to give us our hamburgers on a tray. Ugh. We was, we was having a good time 
Young folks don't know about that stuff. But that's how White Castle used to be. Of course, it's not like that now, but you always think about it like that from back in the day. Now we're going to put a little piece of pickle on here. Put as many pickles as you want, but I'm only putting one. Okay. Close this baby up. Here she go. And we're gonna give it we're gonna give it a taste. Now you can put as much ketchup or mustard or mayonnaise or whatever you like on it. And you, you know, have a good a good little little snack here. So I'm gonna give it a taste right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Boy, this is good. <laughs> this is good. Now, if you like White Castle or you like a good slider, try this recipe. And I'm telling you, you will you you'll be like, wow. And by the way, I didn't put any sauce, any salt, any extra salt at all in this except you know the, the salt came a little bit from the um a1 and for the work from the worst it's just worst decided sauce and even that was low sodium so this is good better than white castle because you don't have any salt but you gotta put salt on there and put some table salt on there but it don't need it okay thank you everybody i'm gonna finish eating my burger have a good one bye bye